Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general. So take what resonates and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in as usual, okay? And let's see what spirit got for y'all. Also, um, I've already blessed this reading for us and shuffle the cards. Keep in mind, during this reading, my window is open, y'all. I just really need, like, some fresh air. I've been having the heat on, like, all day. <clears throat> so, I really just need some fresh air right now. So, you might hear, like, airplanes, cars, and, you know, all that. So, my bad in advance, you know. <laughs> also, I am now offering personal readings. So, if you need a personal reading done, girl, let me know. All this stuff will be down in the description box down below. And I will have my website up and running soon okay all right so let's see what spirit got for y'all okay <clears throat> i was trying to get out like two videos for y'all within this last 24 hours but first the first video kept cutting off on me and it was 111 when i just said that um and the second one it just was taking forever to upload like it was just not uploading so i was like okay fuck it i'll just do another one so let's see okay what's going on all right, Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful Divine Feminine? <laughs> I feel like somebody don't want you to, um, I feel like something good is getting ready to happen to you and somebody doesn't want this for you. So, Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful Divine Feminine? Okay, that's too many. Ugh. That's way too many. And how do they go like all the way up under there like that? That's crazy. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful man? Divine feminine. Okay, that's too many. Y'all, these cards are like stuck together too. I just made this deck and they are literally very sharp. And we sit, we two minutes in and we ain't even got no. How many is this? That's too many. Spirit, what's going on? I feel like, like I said, I feel like somebody does not want you to like know something. Wanted to confront you. Hmm. Maybe somebody didn't want me to tell you that. Somebody just wanted to confront you about something. Also, we got out of time. Hmm. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? Oh, this is messy. Ex-wife. Wow. So what I'm getting is, okay, this is what I'm getting. Somebody you could have been dealing with, they could have, you know, been married. Okay, when you first met them, you probably didn't know this person was married or you probably found out this person was married or whatever the case may be, but this particular person was married um, or just was dealing with somebody like long term that they seen like, you know, as a wife, somebody that they were really committed to. Um, anyways, they've gotten a divorce is what I'm getting. Like the the relationship is done. The relationship is over. Um, I feel like this person ended it because they feel like they're out of time with you. I feel like you probably cut this person off in the past, or maybe this person just probably cut you off, ghosted you, or either you ghosted them. Um, but they feel like they're just out of time with you. And for some reason, this ex-wife feels like you have something to do with this. And that's why... Um, they're wanting to come forth and confront you about something. So, girl, be prepared. And y'all, people are so messy. I told y'all, like, 
they probably didn't even want me to do this reading to like let you know this was about to happen because I feel like they were probably going to try to like catch you off guard. But yeah, this ex-wife is wanting to confront you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so we got, let's keep this private, okay? So I feel like this person is definitely getting ready to come back towards you, like I said, because they feel like they're out of time with you. They see you moving forward with your life and um, they know you have options, you know? They know how beautiful you are. So they they want to be with you like they want to make this um work but they feel like they need to keep this private right now um the main reason is because of this ex-wife this ex-wife does not want to see this person move forward to like anybody new she don't want to see this man happy okay and it was five 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 when i just said that so there is change definitely coming between you two and that's just what it is, okay? So we have make up for lost time, okay? So this person knows that they missed out on a lot of time with you. Like I said, you could have walked away from this person or they could have walked away from you. But either way, they know that they're out of time because they know how much time they wasted. Like, I feel like you probably were waiting for this person for a while um, to, like, make a decision is what I'm getting. Because I feel like you, you're you not the type that's going to settle for a married man. So you were telling this person, like, either, you know, are you getting a divorce? Or, like, what's going on? Because, like, it's not going to be both. And that airplane was confirmation, okay? It's, it's not going to be both. Okay, so we got always leaving. Okay, so... This is definitely what I was getting when this out of time card came out. Cause like I said, I feel like this person, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this person just ghosted you. Um, you probably didn't know why, um, but it was probably because this person was married and they had other responsibilities and obligations. So they were always kind of like in and out of your life a lot. And at first you didn't know why, then you found out, you know? So it was definitely, um, it was definitely giving you like baby boy vibes. That's what I'm getting with this card. Um, somebody that just doesn't really know what they want. Y'all know how baby boy was acting in the movie. Like, you know, at first just doing the most. Not just really indecisive, playing games, you know, telling women what they want to hear, being a little player but also trying to be like a family man, knowing damn well they out here doing whatever they doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was giving you. Mm, I just wanted to see what this card was. It says found love within. So maybe that could have been you, Divine Feminine. Um, Damn, that's a lot of cars. <laughs> that could have been you after um, this person like goes at you. So we got feeling blessed. Hmm. I feel like this person, when they're with you, this is how they feel. I feel like they see you as their blessing. That's what I'm getting with that car. And I feel like they don't want to miss out on this. So we got, I want to be bad for you. Hmm. What I'm getting with that card is I'm, I'm feeling like they are willing to like cut anybody off for you. Like, no matter what, what people feel like, like, I feel like, okay, once this person starts cutting people off for you, or like, say if this person, like, you know, like I said, they just got a divorce or, you know, they just got out of a long-term relationship and then they go and be with you and you guys are happy together. You guys are living a very abundant life. People are going to be looking at this person like, 
they're the bad person. Like, oh, that's not cool. Like, you're a bad person. But this person is like, look, I'll be bad for you. I want to be bad for you. I don't care how people look at me because I know what I want with you. And it was 1010 when I just said that. So that's definitely talking about like new phases, you know, getting ready to happen between you guys. Because this person knows like they're out of time. I feel like you're not finna like <laughs> just keep like waiting on this person. All right, spirit. What else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? <clears throat> what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? I could have sworn I just seen something turn over. I'm not sure if I'm... Oh. I guess I'm tripping. Oh, my ear is in. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, sorry. what else? So we got breaking point. That's you, Divine Feminine. Like I said, this person knows like that they're out of time with you. You're not dealing with that shit. Like, <laughs> especially if this like ex-wife um is like wanting to come towards you with like drama. Some of y'all this could have already happened. Um, but that was just like your breaking point, you know, especially like once you found out this person was married. Oh y'all, excuse my um <laughs> Excuse my neighbors outside. All right, Spirit, what else? So we got, I'll pick up any time for you. So I feel like even though this person wants to keep this connection private, they still want to be there for you in whatever way you need. Like, it's not like they're trying to hide you. They just know that right now this is something that they don't want anybody to mess up. And they know that if other people know about you guys being together, um, they're going to like try to ruin it for you guys. So we got I Ain't Tripping. Hmm. Divine Feminine, you are funny. This is you, girl. So what I'm getting is, um, that's funny. That airplane was confirmation too. Okay, so what I'm getting is when this ex-wife comes towards you to try to confront you or if this has already happened, you're just like, look, I ain't tripping. Like, you can have him. Like, it's nothing. Like, I ain't tripping. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like you ain't even been tripping off this man. This man is stuck on you. You're not stuck on him. <laughs> like, you like, girl, ain't nobody even tripping off him. Some of y'all is not even, like, going to entertain this. And if I were you, I wouldn't entertain this. If, if this person comes towards you, because that's what they're wanting to do. Um, just because they see this person moving towards you. All right, Spirit, what else? This Tonight card keeps wanting to come out. I feel like, because that came out in the reading I was trying to do earlier. I feel like when that happens, um, something is getting ready to happen quick, like within the next 24 to 48 hours. But we got final goodbye. I told y'all, this shit is over with. That person said their final goodbye. That person said their final goodbye to them. I feel like they're like no longer like, they're just not dealing with each other.
For some of y'all, y'all thought y'all said y'all find a goodbye to this person as well, but it wasn't. It was not a final goodbye. So we got um, real woman, okay? And this came right under baby boy, okay? So I feel like with you being the divine feminine that you are, <laughs> This person sees how real of a woman that you are, and that's what they needed to get out of this baby boy energy to help them grow and become a man. And not seeing that you're helping this person and, you know, trying to raise this person and change this person, but you're just making them realize, like, certain things about themselves that's helping them mature and become a better man. So, they love that shit about you. Look, we got makeup sets. Mm-hmm. So this person definitely wants to come in and, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Get things started. <laughs> Look, we got every day is a blessing. Hold on. Every day with you is a blessing. And I was just saying earlier how this person, when they're with you, that's how they feel. They feel blessed to be around you, to be in your presence, to have found you. So, this is definitely, definitely, definitely somebody I feel like who um, they can see themselves like being married to you. You guys like really spending the rest of your lives together. So, we got karmic connection and like I, this came out over its wife. Okay. So, this is definitely letting you know the ex-wife or whoever they were dealing with in a long-term relationship, if this person wasn't married, it was just a karmic connection. And really all that is, is just somebody that's teaching them lessons, you know, helping them learn um, different things about themselves as well. So sometimes karmic connections do have to happen in order for people to grow, in order for people to evolve. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a karmic connection with this past um person that they were dealing with hmm Ooh. okay so we got dedicated to you okay and this is um coming out over let's keep this private and make up for lost time i will pick up any time for you and I just feel like this person is going to be fully dedicated to you. They want to be dedicated to you, like dedicate their time to you. Um, maybe you guys weren't spending a lot of time together before because that's what they want to make up for. So now they're ready to dedicate time to you, you know, not just popping in and out, always leaving. They're really, they're really ready. <laughs> they're really ready for this commitment, Divine Feminine. And then... This is the car I told y'all I seen earlier, found love within. And I feel like this is something that you did. Like, you found love within yourself. And I feel like that is what allowed this person to find love within themselves as well. Because, obviously, this is how I feel, okay? If you're willing to deal with a situation that's not making you happy... I feel like you don't love yourself enough to walk away. You get what I'm saying? So you have to go within and figure out, okay, if this isn't making me happy, why am I still dealing with this shit? Like, because I love this person? Because I need to be loving myself a little bit more. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I feel like this person found love within as well. Look, we got whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay. This person is going to like, I feel like they're just going to really like spoil you. And then we got, he won't let me go. So this person is definitely not letting you go to my feminine. Like I said, you guys could have thought that this shit was over with. It's not over with. 